What's your biggest regret? Probably s***ing with a 65 year old man to get 10 grand. G dot family, you already know it's your boy G dot back with another but 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 banging ass video. You already know what we doing today. We got another reaction going on, and this one's for the I don't even know my body count from Fresh and Fit. Now before we get into the video, I want y'all to know I f Fresh and Fit. All the content they putting out is saving a lot of niggas right now. A lot of niggas that don't know the game and don't know what's going on, they getting played by these females or they being simps, like we say. Hey, bro, they going out real sad until they start watching phone them show. So. If you ain't watching Fresh and Fit, go tune into their show and get some free game, especially for the guys. Like, get some free game, bro. A lot of y'all getting played anyway, especially if y'all not watching my player one-on-one -on -one course. But let's get into the video. But before we get into that, y'all already know what to do. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time I drop a new banging ass video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at guaboyg. and Twitter at guaboyg. All the links for all my social media are going to be in the description below. Without further ado, though, let's get straight into the video. <laughs> You catch me cheating, I will never tell a sorry. All right, here we go. So this is a video, guys. Okay. So basically, uh, he's going around asking, asking girls, what is your biggest regret? So shout out to Zay Mitchell. Let's I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. It's gonna be funny as hell. He asked the girls what their biggest regret is. It's gonna be funny, bro. I ain't gonna cap. Because a lot of girls have yeah, a lot of fucking regrets, a lot of dumbass regrets. Because girls be doing some dumbass stuff. Like, niggas do dumbass stuff, but girls be doing some dumbass shit. Like, dumb. Like, you see what I'm saying? So let's see what they're talking about. Let's see what's up with this, um, this uh, video. What's your biggest regret? Probably s with a 65 year old man to get 10 grand. Well, we starting fresh out the gate with a banger. Hey, tough out. You slept with a 65 year old man for $10,000? Nah, that's not bad, you see what I'm saying? You know, you do what you do for your hustle. 10 bands for sleeping with them, it just depends. Did you suck them up? Was you really into it? Would you just letting them, like, you know? I, it's just a lot of context I gotta understand to that. For a 65 year old man for 10K, like, god damn. You was down bad, like. So, what's something you've never told your parents? Um, well, I've already told them I've done so I would say probably my body count. So, what's your body count? It's bad. Is it higher than 20? Yeah. Higher than 30? Yeah. All right, so what's your big... Why she just was so open to saying I did coke, like... Why was she just so open to telling this random ass guy that she just met that she was doing coke, bro? That's not so... You're supposed to be telling people that you're doing cocaine? It's like crack. It's 2021, you're doing crack. Like, what the fuck? What's wrong with you? And your body count over 30 and you like, like you're saying this? You telling people this? Like, crazy. Biggest regret? Uh, probably dating four people with the same name. That ain't bad. Emily. So what's the craziest place you've done the deed? Uh, my ex-boyfriend is a FedEx driver and we did it in his truck. In the truck? I ain't gonna lie, she look like a bust down. She look like the type that do it in a FedEx truck. If a girl is ready to have sex with you in a FedEx truck, bro, she is not the one for you. I'm just letting you know right now. No girl with respect for herself and respect for you is gonna have sex with you in a FedEx truck. Unless she really just like that, like, you know? It is a couple girls that's freaks like that, but it ain't a lot that's just from the openly in a FedEx truck that you work out of, like, you know? It's not adding up right now. Yeah. Like on the packages. Yeah. Pause real quick. Is this place you've done the deed? Um. Fair use. Alright, let's continue on. This is hilarious. On the roller coaster! Prefer a simp or a boy? Uh, a boy. Why? Uh, because who wants a simp? Alright, so do you- Nah, for real, this is what I be trying to tell y'all. I play a one-on-one -on -one course, bro. You have to be a player. A player don't mean you a fuckboy, you feel me? A fuckboy and player is synonymous with a thin line between the two. There's a thin line between being a player and a thin line between being a fuckboy. We trying to be players, not fuckboys. But at the same time, it's one and the same because she don't want no simp. That's what I've been trying to tell you. That's what Fresh and Fit been trying to tell you. They do not want no simp. They want a real nigga that's going to take charge. They want a real nigga that's going to leave them to the promised land. And you ain't no real nigga if you simping over her, trying to cry over her. Texting her back fast as hell every time she texts you. Texting back in like two, three seconds. Blowing up a line. Giving her attention all the motherfucking time. Giving her compliments all the time. You're so beautiful. You're so gorgeous. Yada, 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 bro. You got to ignore that girl sometimes, bro. You can't be on the ass. You got to chill out sometimes, man. For real. Relax. You prefer a simp or a boy? Boy. Wife, boy. I love a good toxic boy. Okay, so does height matter? As long as they're taller than you, no. But they do have to be taller. The taller, the better. Okay, so... I ain't gonna lie, this is just something y'all can't control. If a girl says she's not gonna date you because of your height, she's shallow. Just, she's shallow, okay? 
I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of shallow, but if that girl says she's not gonna date you because you a little shorter than her, or you the same height as her, bro, she's shallow. It's not even worth it anyway, trust me. Like, how tall is, like, your preference? If there's a six in front, it's good. You I guys think that's a lot? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you think guys think they're over 30s about it? Kiki, Kiki, for, for, for... Okay, I'm oh. sorry. Hold on, I'm God, I'm God. What's your body count? I don't even know, bro, shit. I've, I've, been, I've been a is slut. Is it over a thousand? Since, oh, yeah. She is admit to being a slut on air? On a podcast and on YouTube and on Twitch, I ain't gonna lie, these girls don't have no shame at all. But side note, side note, the girl on the right, a hey, fresh and fit, what's up? Um, <laughs> that's her Instagram, you see what I'm saying? The girl on the left, too, you see what I'm saying? I don't want the one in the middle, though. I know y'all can keep the one in the middle. But the right and the left, preferably the right to the left, yeah, what's some Instagrams? I need that. 2000? Uh, it's a lot of people. Because 2000? I'm talking to a lot of people in the industry, and then I have to. Mm -hmm. Is it over 9,000? Okay, she's talking about the industry. She has to be a porn star. That's the only thing. Like, she has to be a porn star. She's talking about she's sleeping with people in the industry and stuff. Got to be a porn star or something. Only fans, you know. Over nine. I don't even know. I honestly can't even give you a, a correct political answer because no, I no. don't even know myself. Like, I wish you could tell. <laughs> Why the girl that left kind of look up and down? Like, like you a hoe? Like, so like, baby, you gotta see. Ugh. A correct. Look how she looking at it. Look at ass up and down. The hell? Like, I wish you could tell. Like, you know how, like, people could tell the age of trees by their rings? I wish you could just tell. <laughs> Listen, by your mindset, I could tell it was a lot. That's all. I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's not that hard to remember your body count, like, or at least have an estimate of I did this to that. Like, that means you was getting ran through. I ain't gonna lie. That's bad, sure. That means you was getting ran through. Why the hell is you getting ran through like that? You can't even remember, like, oh, maybe it was 20, 30, 40. Like, you don't even have a, a estimation. I got a goddamn estimation. I don't know the exact number, but I got an estimation. You don't even got no estimation. Your ass is a hoe. Hey, you talking about? I'm about my bread. You hey, know. Hey, fuck it. Hey, man. She it's is. She's having sex she with money. She is a Shit. professional. It's still yep. tight. I do my Kegel exercises. There you go. There you go. Uh, um, okay. So, so you as you say over thirty is is high. Okay. Yeah, that's good. All right. Fair enough. Um, my take on the video. Yeah. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. Before she, before we let the fine girl talk, ooh, baby, you looking good right now. The one on the left said thirty is over thirty is too much. Over thirty is way too much. I ain't gonna lie. Over thirty is a lot of fucking bodies, like a lot. You feel me? Relax. I'm not supposed to be hopping dick to dick like that. I'm supposed to be fucking with a nigga and then go to the next one. You see what I'm saying? A key can unlock every lock, but a lock can't unlock for every key. You see what I'm saying? You catch my drift. So y'all can't be out here giving the punani to everybody, especially these lame ass niggas. Cause now these lame ass niggas don't think they can bad bag bitches, and now they're gonna be running around fucking up the game, simping and doing all this lame ass shit, bro. Keep your pussy selective. The they were telling the truth. Okay. Right. What was the craziest thing they said? I say, um, I say the packages. Okay. Having sex in the that is so that was nasty. Wild. Yeah, like, imagine that was getting wild like, as hell. packages delivered that they just fucked on. <laughs> right, bro, that's dirty. I didn't got some damn packages from FedEx before. So you telling me I have probable pussy juice and nut on my packages? Hey, bro, don't ever let me find you. I'll smack you. I swear to God, I'll smack you. Don't ever do that. And that's disrespectful. You need to be fired, put in jail, and the key needs to be thrown away. Because that's just, that's just so dirty. So dirty. Definitely my biggest regret was letting about paying for everything in a relationship. Mm. See, this is why I be thinking like, why can't a real nigga get a girl to pay for everything? Bro, y'all always paying for these broke ass niggas. Can y'all pay for a real one one time? Like, God damn, I want a girl to pay for my food or pay for my haircut. What the fuck? Y'all be paying for broke ass niggas that don't even like y'all ass for real. Like, come on, just pay for a play a meal sometimes or something. I'm gonna treat you right, baby. I'm gonna return the favor, you know? Look out for me, I'm gonna look out for you. And yeah, she work in the porn industry. She got a bang bro shirt on, yeah. She's getting a lot of bodies. Paying for everything. So you were a simp. Oh yeah. Yeah, you were simping oh, for yeah, him. Oh yeah, I was. Okay. Now, now I want you. Okay. okay. Simp for Let's me. Appreciate that. Simp for me, baby. Okay. You okay. can get a pink eye from coming your eyes. Let me tell you, that burns. What you mean you can't? It burns your so eyes. So is that a regret for you then? No, it's not. It's not. A, no, it's not really? a regret. No. Why not? I can't even put this shit because on. it happens. So it was, I yeah. <laughs> Not a lot of girls, they be talking about their experiences and what they got going on. It just be funny as hell, bro. Cause like, why are y'all admitting all this on air on national, like, you feel me? Not national TV, but this dander, like, national TV is the podcast, YouTube, and Twitch put in one. This is the good it's gonna get besides being on real TV. Like, are you just admitting all this? Like, you're not supposed to be, what happened to keeping things behind closed doors? Like, what the hell? This is not how the game's supposed to go. On point. On point. Yeah, like they they had their, their stuff going. So I was dating guys who weren't being monogamous and they were lying about it, and they also weren't providers. So I wish I knew what I knew now. Then. 
Okay. But here's my thing. Here's my thing. Now, I ain't saying that she's saying this. But how you want a provider? But you not playing your role. You see what I'm saying? You want a provider, you want me to protect you, pay for the bills, do everything under the sun. You want me to fix everything in the crib, but you not even giving up no poo nanny. Like, you ain't making me feel good. You ain't supporting a nigga. You want me to buy you stuff and take care of you. Like, that's cap. That's cap. Ain't nobody doing that now, especially not for you. That's cap. Like, you gotta do something. Bring something to the table, bro. You just can't not bring nothing to the table and then expect to get treated like a queen. That's all I'm saying. You have to bring something to the table. Something. Uh, 20 hours. Why is sex such a massive chore for women? I've heard for real? women say. They like it when they act like they don't. So do you or don't you, if you're with a guy you want to be with, why aren't you anxious to do it? Yeah, bro, that's what I'm saying. The thing is- For real though, I ain't gonna ask a very good question. Why is sex such a chore? Like, like I just said, bro, y'all expect us to provide for y'all, protect y'all, to fix everything, to be the real masculine guy in the house and be the leader, but y'all can't even lay it down on a nigga? Y'all can't even like put the punani down on me, but y'all want everything under the sun? Like, it's just not making sense. How you want a Birkin if you ain't got the Birkin Punani? Like, make it make sense. Add it up, baby, because right now I ain't adding up. Stupid. Women, it's a chore for them because they're not actually really attracted to the guy. They're just dealing with him right. because he provides some kind of value that's indispensable. For example, a sugar daddy, you know, a guy that has money, whatever it is, but he's repulsive otherwise. You know, a lot of guys do with their wallet, and a lot of rich dudes don't have games. So what do they do? Oh, baby girl, I'll buy you this bag if we fuck. And it's like, yeah, yeah she'll show. Just, I ain't gonna lie, he not lying though. It's a lot of shit that be going on like that. Girls really don't like you like you think they like you. Girls are really scandalous. So a lot of girls ain't really out for you. A lot of girls don't really want to be with you because of your personality or how you look or nothing. They really want you because of your money or what you can offer them sometimes. Sometimes a girl ain't got nothing, she down bad and unlucky. You trying to take care of her? You think that girl not gonna get taken care of? Like, she's gonna get taken care of, bro. That's just the way the game go. I ain't make the rules. I ain't, you feel me? I'm just a player in the game. I ain't make no damn rules. So sometimes you gotta be on your P's and your Q's to understand, hey, maybe that girl might not like me like this. Maybe that girl ain't trying to fuck with me for real. You gotta see the signs, man. Do all this extra shit trying to supplicate to her. The thing is, the more you give a woman of what she wants, the less attractive she's gonna be to you guys, man. Period. Yep. Zach Pick. He ain't capping. He ain't capping. I ain't gonna lie, that man is not capping. He's saying the complete truth. If you keep being a yes man and do everything for her, she's gonna like you less, 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 and less, and less. You still gotta be an asshole to her. You still gotta be a little nonchalant sometimes. You still gotta be a little mysterious. I ain't gonna lie, it's weird, bro. I'm not gonna cap to you, it's weird. You can't really just, you can be yourself around the girl, but you can't be all lovey-dovey 24-7. You know you just gotta be a hard body about it. You gotta be heartless sometimes. You gotta tell that bitch, I don't even like you like that. You feel me? It's gonna hurt her feelings, but then she gonna come back and she gonna suck you up because she ain't never had nobody tell her that. Sometimes you gotta be the asshole that she never had because that's what's gonna get you through the door. Sometimes these girls only deal with nice guy, nice guy, nice guys. So when they meet you and you acting a little assholeish or you acting a little distant because you don't really want them for real, they gonna be on your dick. It's just how the game go, bro. Like I said, I don't make the rules. I'm just a player. I'm just giving y'all the game. Mm. The reason why girls are gonna shame you when you're not married and or in a serious relationship is because you can't be controlled. That's true. That's true. I ain't gonna lie. When you were married, that means you are under control of the woman. Not saying like she tell you what to do every single day, but like you gotta go home to your lady. Like you still got a sense of responsibility to your lady. If you ain't married, you ain't got no responsibility. You ain't got no security. Like you do whatever the fuck you want. Ain't nobody stopping you, holding you back. And a lot of girls don't like that. A lot of girls want niggas to be under wraps. But look, marriage is really for females. I ain't gonna lie to you. Marriage is cool. Like if you really like the girl, don't get me wrong. Nothing wrong with marriage. But marriage is really for a girl, bro. Marriage is to make the girl feel secure and keep her in a comfortable position. Marriage ain't for no nigga because now you're paying double the money, paying double the bills, taking care of you and your girl. Still got to do all the stuff you was going to do on your own. Dana take care of her lifestyle. And don't let y'all have kids. Now you got to bring in Dana triple the money because she can't work for real because she's pregnant. And she got to take care of the kids. So now what? It's just a lose-lose situation, bro. So that's why I wouldn't suggest getting married until you find the one or you're really comfortable with your situation you don't care about it no more. But hey, man, that's the end of this video. I got to send a quick shout-out to Fresh and Fit for dropping some more knowledge on the players. You see what I'm saying? Now, I respect them as some players. They be dropping a lot of knowledge. So if y'all fucking with the Wanna Be A Player Wave, go ahead and subscribe to Fresh and Fit. And definitely go check out my Player 101 course in the advice and tips section on my YouTube channel. But while you at it, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a new banging ass video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at guaboyg. and Twitter at guaboyg. All the links for all my social media are going to be in the description below. Without further ado, though, we out.